In this video, we're going to show you how to easily back up your N64 games, cartridge saves, and controller pack saves using the Binvin Joey 64. All right, y'all, so I've had the Joey 64 for a little bit now, and I've used it to do a number of fun things in emulation, but we haven't done a basic tutorial on how to actually use the device to back up your N64 games and saves, so we're going to go ahead and remedy that now. So all you need for this tutorial is a Joey 64, so links to a couple of retailers will be in the link in the description below. You need your physical N64 games, and then you will also need a physical N64 controller for controller pack saves. And then of course a controller pack that has saves you want to back up. So you could use the official third party, doesn't matter. But let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna get started by backing up N64 ROMs and save files to begin with. So get the game that you wish to back up. So for today's example, we're gonna be using Ocarina of Time. And then look at your Joy64 and it tells you which side the cart label needs to face. So just pop the cartridge onto it in the indicated fashion. Now just plug a USB-C cable into the back of the Joey 64 and into an available USB port for your computer. And the Joey 64 is best suited for Windows and Linux operation. It is actually not compatible with Mac. So once plugged in, the Joy 64 will pop up on your PC like a USB flash drive and inside you will see your ROM file and your save file if the cartridge supports saves. Now it is important to note to make sure that you are using the .z64 extension. If it doesn't show up in .z64, you can just open up the mode.txt document and you can change it between the different operating modes. So there's N64, Z64, Z64, EverDrive format. And then this is supposed to say pack, but because of one of the uh, script files I'm using, it rewrites that as Z64, so just ignore that. But just make sure the first line here says Z64 and you're good to go. But to back up these files, all you need to do is just Drag them on over to your desktop or other folder where you want to store them and then just wait for it to do its thing. It's not a very fast device, unfortunately, but it gets the job done. Once the transfer is completed, you can rename the ROM file to whatever you want. And then if you plan to use the save file in emulation, you do need to follow the particular steps for your emulator to get that copied over with the appropriate name and format. Now to back up controller pack saves, get your N64 controller and plug it into a Joey 64 that's not plugged into your computer. So there we go. And then plug the controller pack with the save you're looking to back up into the controller and now get the Joey 64 hooked up to your PC. Now over on your computer, when the Joey 64 is popped up, go ahead and open up your mode.txt file and change the Z64 over to PAK for pack. And then go ahead and save that and close out of it. And now the Joey 64 will reboot and you will see your controller pack save listed as save.mpack. So you can just go ahead and copy that over to your computer. And then you can rename it after the save file that you might have on it. If you have multiple, you can name it whatever you want. But this is my Tony Hawk 3 memory pack. And there we go. But there you have it. That is how quick and painless it is to back up your N64 ROMs, saves, and controller pack saves with the Benven Joey 64. I will have additional tutorials going over how to import the save files and controller packs into various emulators like Simple64 and RetroArc, but those are going to be covered separately just to keep this one short and sweet and to the point. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it helps you get your N64 games and saves backed up so you can begin using them in your emulation or EverDrive projects. So again, Ben Ven Joey 64 links to the purchase of this device will be in the description below and it has been a wonderful device. If you haven't yet, check out my tutorial on how to turn this into a cartridge reader so you could play all of your original carts within RetroArch without having to worry about dumping and converting things because it's all handled automatically by my script. But anyway, thanks again for watching. The couple of usual favors here at the end, like, dislike, sub, notification bell, you know the drill. And then you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link if you'd like to further contribute to the channel to keep it going. Big shout out to all of our current backers. Thank you so much again. But that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome. Keep on gaming. We'll see you back next video.